Yeah, and a final vote, as you mentioned, still expected sometime tomorrow, either in the morning East Coast time, afternoon our time. And that is because Senator Collins' decision pretty much has guaranteed it. She kept everyone in suspense today, telling no reporters, not even colleagues, before taking to the U.S. Senate floor at noon on Friday afternoon. Our Supreme Court confirmation process has been in steady decline for more than 30 years. One can only hope that the Kavanaugh nomination is where the process has finally hit rock bottom. Republican Senator Susan Collins of Maine, the critical swing vote, carefully laid out a defense of her decision, speaking for nearly 50 minutes about how she assessed Judge Kavanaugh on the issues and on the allegations. But certain fundamental legal principles about due process, the presumption of innocence and fairness do bear on my thinking and I cannot abandon them. Collins called Dr. Christine Blasey Ford's testimony compelling, but cited a lack of cooperation of the claims. She closed by confirming that she will back Brett Kavanaugh's nomination to the U.S. Supreme Court. My fervent hope is that Brett Kavanaugh will work to lessen the divisions in the Supreme Court. A West Virginia Democratic Senator Joe Manchin, also a yes. Nearly drowned out by demonstrators as he spoke to reporters in the hall. Protest also outside of Arizona Republican Senator Jeff Flake's office as the emotion over this confirmation battle boils over nationwide. We saw a man filled with anger and aggression. You affirm that the Senate Democrats point to last week's minutes. hearing and question Judge Kavanaugh's judicial temperament. But we have to, in this Senate, think about the consequence of this vote. Washington Senator Patty Murray, who ran for the U.S. Senate following the Anita Hill hearing and Clarence Thomas's confirmation in 1991, says she worries about the message senators are sending today to survivors of sexual assault. Now, to my friends out there and to everyone who has a story, do not be silent. That is not how we win this for the future. And tonight we are still waiting for Senator Maria Cantwell to speak on the U.S. Senate floor, give her remarks. We know that she announced last month her opposition to Judge Kavanaugh before the allegations surfaced. As for this final vote, timing still, the exact timing, still a bit unknown. I heard from one staffer it could happen tomorrow late morning on the East Coast, early afternoon, our time. The procedural vote earlier today opened 30 hours of debate, but senators don't have to take all of that time. So it could happen sometime tomorrow morning to late afternoon.